Hi, it's me again with Corel Dural Tips and Tricks. And one of my viewers or subscribers was trying to explain to me something that was going on with their Corel that they couldn't figure out and they didn't like it. And I've used them and I don't really particularly like them. But see these lines that pop up? 45 degree angle, you know, at 0.125 inches on the edge. It's going to tell you an edge at zero. It's actually going to tell you it's kind of neat in this way, um, for instance, let's just see how big this box is. Well, let's make this box exactly six inches. And then we're going to bring in this circle and let's make it six inches also. Sorry, I should have had this more thought out. So you've got a six inch circle and a six inch square. And there it's telling you it's on a node, but it's giving you guidelines. But it's actually, actually, sometimes actually gives you measurements. And, um, you know, there's at zero on the edge or, you know, there's a quarter inch away from the edge, uh, three quarters of an inch away from the edge. So I can see its purpose sometimes, but to me, they're just annoying. And, you know, if I want, I'd put that on the edge. And if I wanted it a quarter of an inch down, I'd change my nudge factor to 0.25. And I would just move it down to get it a quarter of an inch from there. But anyway, that's your dynamic guide. And I call them dynamic guidelines. They're under view. And she evidently, she probably went down to snap to and hit this. So as long as you uncheck it, that won't happen anymore. They won't, they're gone. They won't, it really bugs me. I just, I don't like them. Uh, the only time I've ever even seen them before when somebody sends me a one of their files and they've got you know they've got that turned on and it's under default. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Hope to help them a little bit. Thank you for watching.